The Avestan alphabet is a writing system developed during Iran's Sassanid era 226 to render the Avestan language. As a side effect of its development, the script was also used for Pazend, a method of writing Middle Persian that was used primarily for the Zen commentaries on the texts of the Avesta. In the texts of Zoroastrian tradition, the alphabet is referred to as Din Dabira or Din Dabiri, Middle Persian for the religion script. History The development of the Avestan alphabet was initiated by the need to represent recited Avestan language texts correctly. The various text collections that today constitute the canon of Zoroastrian scripture are the result of a collation that occurred in the 4th century, probably during the reign of Shapur II it is likely that the Avestan alphabet was an ad hoc innovation related to this Sassanid archetype collation. The enterprise, which is indicative of a Mazdian revival and of the establishment of a strict orthodoxy closely connected with the political power, was probably caused by the desire to compete more effectively with Buddhists, Christians, and Manichaeans, whose faith was based on a revealed book. In contrast, the Zoroastrian priesthood had for centuries been accustomed to memorizing scripture, following by rote the words of a teacher priest until they had memorized the words, cadence, inflection and intonation of the prayers. This they passed on to their pupils in turn, so preserving for many generations the correct way to recite scripture. This was necessary because the priesthood considered and continued to consider precise and correct enunciation and cadence a prerequisite of effective prayer. Further, the recitation of the liturgy was and is accompanied by ritual activity that leaves no room to attend to a written text. The ability to correctly render Avestan did, however, have a direct benefit. By the Common Era, the Avestan language words had almost ceased to be understood, which led to the preparation of the Zen texts from Avestan Zainta, understanding, that is, commentaries on and translations of the canon. The development of the Avestan alphabet allowed these commentaries to interleave quotation of scripture with explanation thereof. The direct effect of these texts was a standardized interpretation of scripture that survives to the present day. For scholarship these texts are enormously interesting since they occasionally preserve passages that have otherwise been lost. The 9th-12th century texts of Zoroastrian tradition suggest that there was once a much larger collection of written Zoroastrian literature, but these texts—if they ever existed—have since been lost, and it is hence not known what script was used to render them. The question of the existence of a pre-Sassanid archetype occupied Avestan scholars for much of the 19th century, and W. Hatever may be the truth about the Arsacid Avesta, the linguistic evidence shows that even if it did exist, it cannot have had any practical influence, since no linguistic form in the Vulgate can be explained with certainty as resulting from wrong transcription and the number of doubtful cases is minimal, in fact it is being steadily reduced. Though the existence of an Arsacid archetype is not impossible, it has proved to contribute nothing to Avestan philology. Topic. Genealogy and script Topic. The Pahlavi script, upon which the Avestan alphabet is based, was in common use for representing various Middle Iranian languages, but was not adequate for representing a religious language that demanded precision since Pahlavi was a simplified abjad syllabary with at most 22 symbols, most of which were ambiguous i.e. could represent more than one sound. In contrast, Avestan was a full alphabet, with explicit characters for vowels, and allowed for phonetic disambiguation of allophones. The alphabet included many characters A, I, K, T, P, B, M, N, R, S, Z, S, X, V from cursive Pahlavi, while some A, gamma are characters that only exist in the Psalter Pahlavi variant in cursive Pahlavi gamma and K have the same symbol. Some of the vowels, such as, appear to derive from Greek minuscules. Avestan O is a special form of Pahlavi L that exists only in Aramaic signs. Some letters, e.g., N, Y, V, are free inventions. Avestan script, like Pahlavi script and Aramaic script, also is written from right to left. In Avestan script, letters are not connected, and ligatures are rare and clearly of secondary origin. 
Topic: Graphemes. Topic: In total, the Avestan alphabet has 37 consonants and 16 vowels. There are two main transcription schemes for Avestan, the newer style used by Karl Hoffmann and the older style used by Christian Bartolomé. Later, when writing Middle Persian in the script i.e. Pazend, another consonant was added to represent the l phoneme that didn't exist in the Avestan language. Topic: <laughs> Ligatures. Topic: Four ligatures are commonly used in Avestan manuscripts. S plus a equals sa. S plus c equals ski. S plus t equals street. A plus h equals a. U plus 200 c zero width non joiner can be used to prevent ligatures if desired. For example, compare u plus 10 ob 31 10 ob 00 with u plus 10 ob 31 200 c 10 ob 00. Fossey lists 16 ligatures, but most are formed by the interaction of swash tails. Topic. Punctuation Topic. Words and the end of the first part of a compound are separated by a dot in a variety of vertical positions. Beyond that, punctuation is weak or non-existent in the manuscripts, and in the 1880s Carl Friedrich Geldner had to devise one for standardized transcription. In his system, which he developed based on what he could find, a triangle of three dots serves as a colon, a semicolon, an end of sentence or end of section, which is determined by the size of the dots and whether there is one dot above and two below, or two above and one below. Two above and one below signify, in ascending order of, dot, size, colon, semicolon, end of sentence or end of section. Topic. Unicode. Topic. The Avestan alphabet was added to the Unicode standard in October, 2009 with the release of version 5.2. The characters are encoded at U plus 10B00. 10B35 for letters E and UU are not represented as single characters, but as sequences of characters and U plus 10B38. 10B3F for punctuation. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. 